hello everyone how's everybody's doing and i hope everybody is doing well i will be i will be reviewing dirty john betty episode three and this episode was really good it basically shows dan's character as a lawyer and husband and it shows it shows where the men loyalty lies with their wives dan seems like a controlling stuff exor and only could see people folks, but not his own. As a law student, Dan believes that it is okay to trick people into confessions, which I really disagree. I also have a problem, and this goes back to me remembering um, Khalif Bauer. When they were trying to trick him into confessing into a crime that he didn't commit, and they punished him, but something that he didn't confess to and later on committed suicide. And then you have the Central Park Five as well. And there is so many others who have got tricked into confessions. And they really didn't commit a crime. And a lot of them are majority are black people who this is happening to. And this is where I have a problem with that. The men that are having lunch with each other show their true colors. And they are taking no prisoners when it comes to their, that will soon to be their ex-wife. They are playing no games. And I definitely took mental note on what they were saying, which was very informative. And will hold on to this information for future reference, just in case. You never know. <laughs> the main gay Martin... Um, advice to give his wife false hope and reconciliation in their marriage knowing and Martin mind that he was not going to reconcile but divorce her which I thought was terrible his other agenda was to marry his future side chick and my opinion is if you're gonna cheat in a relationship the best thing you can do is be honest where you stand with that person you could at least owe that to them instead of have playing games and giving them false hopes. Oh, y'all getting back together and stuff like that, which I think nobody should be doing. Don't never play with people's emotions, and this is why they have this show, Dirty John Betty, because <laughs> Betty got him at the end. <laughs> This is why you don't play on people's emotions. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. At the house with um, Dan and Betty, you see where his loyalty lie is with the men because he never told his wife about the conversation about what they had. And Betty told the conversation what the ladies had. And I said he probably withheld that information because Dan wasn't too far off of doing the same thing that Martin has done already. Dan is really crazy because he make his classmates believe he typed his own briefing and he's a family man. He he cracked me up and they show that it's Betty that's typing his briefing while he dictating words. So I like I cannot. I just can't with him. And then when he have his family at home, he he basically ignores them and has his back turned towards them the whole freaking time. I was like, I cannot with him at all. So at this point, Martin will soon be getting married and everybody is invited to the wedding. And Yvonne is happy for him. But Betty has a problem as Betty being Yvonne's friend, she don't want to go to the wedding. So she don't go to the wedding. While everybody else goes to the wedding. So she reaches out to Yvonne and let her know she's there for her and everything. But Yvonne don't really get back to her. Betty actually sees her out in the street. But she doesn't even say anything to her. I would at least went up to her to see how she was doing. And she was my friend. And if you was my friend, I would have not went to the wedding either. Because, like, if I ride for you, I ride for you, lady. Like, Lady, it's like, I don't, I pick sides, and I will pick my friend's side as well. 
later down the road, Betty realized that her marriage is not working out. Then actually um, try to get on Betty about spending too much. And it was really him. He spent $981 on shirts. And then when he realized it was him, he compliments his own self. But when it was her, it was a freaking problem. Which I have a problem with that. This is why um, people who marry should have separate credit cards and separate accounts. Because if one is crazy spending, that is not coming out of your bank account. And you should have a separate bank account for all your bills to be paid. So all of that could be going towards the bills. If I refuse, you be spending my hard earned money on stuff. Like strippers and shirts. <laughs> I refuse. I that's just me. I refuse. Oh no. Betty actually goes to church with her children and then when she's leaving, she basically see a poster about marriage counseling. And when she gets home, she talks to Dan about it and then it's like giving her a pushback on it, really don't want to do it and stuff. And then he finally realizes and convinces how uh, oh he um he's gonna um he's gonna um go to the marriage marriage counseling see and you see the process like he's making change he actually putting in work and I said all he doing was doing what Martin did to Yvonne giving her false hope making this in like oh it's gonna work out and it's really not and I don't know why Betty don't see this. You know it happened to your friend. Uh, why is the brain not clicking? I don't understand. Your friend just went through this. Why you don't see it's coming for you? I don't get it. Betty and Dan actually has an argument about hiring a new receptionist. Which her name is Linda. Which would be his future wife. And Betty was like, I don't want her working with you. And stuff like that. And he, she gave him an ultimatum. Dan was mad. <laughs> Dan was angry. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Dan let Betty know who's running the show. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> he like, he is not firing Linda. And Betty actually called. And... and, and and went up to the job to see what, what Linda looked like. He let Betty know the only person leaving the house is, is her. I don't care how much money you making. The one who cheated in the relationship should be the one to leave the house. That's how it goes in my book. At the end of the day, how that works. <laughs> I don't know how that works. And... I like this is this is this is crazy. Betty actually helped this man make it to something, and now that he finally made it, he discarding Betty like she's a piece of trash, and that is a sad, sad thing to see. <laughs> Real stuff. Oh my god. I definitely like watching um this show. It's definitely my show. So I'm gonna continue to watch it and that's it. I start for <laughs> Why is she laughing? Everybody stay blessed out there and I'm actually having a good time with myself. Um but God is always number one and I put him first. I'm out. Have a good day.